Could you take the Drake photo for me? You want a Drake photo? Yes, please. Okay. Left hand here. All right. You're gonna hold on to this. Okay. okay. Now position your body a little bit like this. Well, your hair is a little longer than uh, Drake's is, but that's True. okay. Should I take okay. off my glasses? Yes. Drake didn't have glasses. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Know. Right. Point your head down in this direction. Okay. Look a little sad. There we go. We made it. Drake's fifth studio album was released on Friday, and by Sunday, it had already broken the record for most streams in a single week. But this is not Drake's most impressive number. In his hometown of Toronto, Drake's more than just a rapper. He's a walking economic stimulus package. I would say at least once a week, Probably tonight. I see an open table reservation with a personal note that says, can we have the Drake table, please? I want to thank everybody from the city for coming out tonight. Drake helped revive the mostly forgettable Toronto Raptors by becoming their hype man. When he came on also, it added that cool factor into it. It definitely rose ticket sales, it rose merch sales, and it rose the general feeling about the team by far. Clearly, it affected culture. The perception of Toronto by Torontonians is pre-Drake and post-Drake. It's a real thing. Everywhere Drake eats, grabs a mic, or shoots a music video has seen an impact. So have dozens of places he's probably never even been to. A while back, Drake popularized calling Toronto the Six after the 416 area code. And ever since, Toronto's been swamped by six computer stores, six soul cycle classes, and even a six Indian food restaurant. I have to be honest, in terms of looking at Drake, he's done a lot more than I actually even I had been aware of. Gordon Hendren does marketing consulting for major brands in Toronto. And he says the Drake brand is directly feeding into Toronto's $8.8 .8 billion tourism economy. How much is Drake's cosign worth to the city of Toronto, to the economy? We did some calculations uh, that suggest that he's worth about $440 million to the Toronto economy. $440 million. $440 million. There are a number of factors that go into that calculation, but we gave Drake 5% of that $8.8 .8 billion. Why? Because he's helped to rebrand the city. He's kind of made himself kind of the same as Toronto. Naturally, that's attracted the attention of Toronto's politicians. Councillor Norm Kelly has used the Drake effect to sell merchandise and make himself into an ironic internet celebrity. And I'm in Japan next week, actually, so I'm... And then there's Councillor Michael Thompson. He's responsible for attracting foreign investment into Toronto. Part of his strategy is traveling the world, trying to turn Drake cool points into Canadian dollar signs. I was just in New Orleans over the weekend, and um, the reason why I was there, we were there to secure a technology conference to come to Toronto for the next three years. And then I talked a little bit about Toronto, who we are, the number of people living here, and so on. And when I mentioned this was home of Drake, the people just kind of went crazy. Just the mere mention of his name. And how much how much money is this tech conference going to bring in? The tech conference will bring into the city of Toronto about $147 million. So you use Drake as a selling point to bring in over $100 million. I'm going to borrow, steal, and beg anything I can to help me to promote my city. The native son is here. He's got a great brand. I'm going to kind of hitch ourselves on it a little bit and get pulled up along the way, along with everything else that we're bringing forward, right? And it seems to be working. <laughs> 